Many of the songbirds that we know, like this yellow warbler, migrate north in the spring and south in the fall. They do it so that they can raise their young in places where there's lots of food, as in these northern forests. The forest ends up providing all sorts of food, like this caterpillar, and hungry baby birds need many of these caterpillars to survive. Loons migrate in the spring to northern lakes so that they can lay their eggs. They don't travel well on land, and so therefore they can't nest where there are tides in the oceans. Other birds, like this kingfisher, end up catching fish in our ponds and streams. And when they freeze, they can't find food, so they have to migrate too. Ruby-throated hummingbirds, like this one, end up migrating because they no longer have a food source, which is the nectar from flowers and also bugs. Many New Hampshire hummingbirds start migrating around now, but others that start migrating farther north will be coming through, so we may see them for a while. This is a map of how migration occurs. Some birds end up taking ocean routes, while others end up following the coastline of the United States and then going through the islands. Others end up going through Central America down to South America. Bird scientists, ornithologists, have discovered that weather radar can show how the birds migrate. The brighter colors here indicate that there are more birds migrating at a given time. Most of the migration occurs at night. This is another time during the night, and the pattern is different. This is a time lapse. The red line ends up saying that sun setting. So now it is dark in the east, and so therefore the birds are migrating to the southwest. You'll end up then seeing a yellow line come through, which is going to be daybreak. And you'll then find that this ends up shutting down all the bird migration because they migrate at night. The red line again is the sunset, and so now the birds start migrating. Take a look at BirdCast on your computer. You may end up discovering that when there are favorable winds from the north, lots of birds are flying. When the winds are coming out of the south, not many birds migrate.